Hey guys, this is Meteor Fall Crummit's Tale. It's coming, I believe, at the beginning of October? November 1st. I think it might be November 1st. It's a little bit of a ways away, so this is an early peek at things. This is the second in the Meteor Fall series. I've never played the uh, the original one. I think it was a mobile game. This one I'm obviously playing on the computer. I did a quick tutorial, and now I'm going to give the... Uh, the regular thing to try. I haven't actually done it yet. You get to choose your hero for now. We only have Bruno the, the come along with us. Uh, I don't have any experience, so I haven't leveled up anything yet. I don't have I don't have a first reward or anything. Uh, you get to navigate your fun little map drawn with all sorts of goblins and filthy creatures. <laughs> filthy gobloid town. The gobloids are a tragic, filthy race doomed by their stench to live as outcasts. Forever shunned, I wonder if they can smell each other. Krumit. I'm, I, I believe this guy is Krumit or Crumit. Something along those lines. Basically, I have attack power, I have health, and I have to try to clear the dungeon, which is like clearing the box full of stuff here. Uh, this costs zero gold. When you acquire this, gain two gold. So you select the tile that you're interested in. You can sell the tile to get gold and health. I'm just going to cash it in to get the gold that I want. A bucket helm, basic item, no additional effects. Uh, the short sword, basic item. It costs two, it adds one damage, but it has a durability of three. That'll make more sense in a battle. So let's fight a gobloid. This enemy doesn't have any special powers or effects. He has a blitz attack. They will attack before you. I would say that's a special effect. He's really wigging out. The characters like to wig out a lot. I don't have any way to defend myself. That probably would have been a good thing to have. So he'll get the first attack on me, but I immediately can retaliate. My base damage is two, so there's no point wasting a durability on the sword. You can drop that. You can see here your damage changing. Two damage will be enough. He gets that ambush attack, but then it goes back to me going first. And you can see this is kind of like restocking along the way. Killing enemies is another way to get gold. I will sell one chainmail to gain some health and some gold so that I could buy the other one. I'll fight another gobloid. I'm going to immediately want to defend myself. Do you know what? Using the short sword against these guys at all is a waste. When I really think about it, I should hang on to that and decide whether or not uh, I should would rather be using it. Uh, maybe a, a stronger enemy will come along or, or something like that. Increase the damage of your next attack by three, so you could use something like that to like insta-kill one of these guys. Uh, I probably shouldn't have sold the chainmail. I probably should have sold like a sword or something. I buy this? Wait, no, it costs? I just gain health? What is going on with this one? I will do nothing with it for the time being. No, I can buy it, because I have, I have, it's only cost one gold. Okay, so that's just a quick heal. This one is also a quick heal, but this one costs nothing. Uh, so it's good to know I have those as a backup. Oh! This totally also contributes defense. Ooh, your block is enough to completely negate your opponent's attack. This means you will parry. Ah, I've never had a parry before. When you parry an opponent's attack, they will be stunned and miss their next action. Well, that was always going to work out super great for me because uh, it doesn't matter if he's stunned. I can do enough damage to kill him anyways. He's stunned. They won't get to attack during this round. When you get the big X, I mean the sparkling is the stunning, but when you get the big X with the skull, that just means like you will kill this creature this round. You have enough damage output potential to, to put an end to it. So you can see, uh, see I, I no longer have the chainmail, so I don't really have enough to stand up for myself this time around. I'm just going to absorb the damage, I guess. Uh, it makes me wish I didn't sell that one chainmail. Probably shouldn't have done that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I can sell some of these to gain back some health, get some coinage. Uh, I'll buy up the sword. And the sword only applies when you also apply a weapon. So the two of them together uh, means I can just immediately put an end to this guy. It's kind of goofy. I just wanted to show that off. It's kind of a goofy battle to use that on because it doesn't really contribute anything in this battle. 
considering that I do enough damage that it just kind of... Ooh, I didn't realize I had to use the vial. Oh, I just immediately cash it in, just like that. Alright, you gotta, like, activate it. So what if I activate it, but don't actively use it? Will it auto-use it in some capacity? No, I have to- I have to choose to use it. But you just don't- it has multiple charges, and you don't have to use it all at once. Uh, yeah. That was a pretty- pretty easy battle, overall. My max deck size has grown by two, and I got, uh, some- Bonus gems, which I don't know what they're for, totally. Armor up. Okay, we'll look at all of these. It, these are things that'll get added into the pool, the deck of these, like, tiles, in addition to the monsters that you have to clear to defeat an area. Deal four piercing damage to target enemy in the top row. Deal two piercing damage to target enemy in the top or middle row. And restore the durability of all armor in your inv inventory to full and increase the block value by two. That seems crazy strong. I want that one. And I also get to choose some stamps or stickers. <laughs> Eric the Wizard. Restore two health whenever you defeat an enemy. Discarding tiles no longer restores health. So you gotta be way more of a, a, a fighter. Damage output more so than like carefully ch choosing when and where to spend tiles. Your base attack is increased by one while you have four items in your inventory. Your So if you just grab a bunch of stuff and don't use it, your base attack is increased by one if you have four or more gold and decreased by one otherwise. Increase max deck size by three. There's, uh, the, the discarding thing is usually really useful because you get gold and health out of it. But I could just go on a spree of really beaten up on things and and try to recover all of all of my health that way. And then maybe that means I'll, I'll less need to discard. Uh, I, I can afford to buy some things here too, so there's definitely options. The Lion Guard. The block value of this item is reduced to zero against attacks of three or less. So he's only good against really heavily attacked things. There's a lion engraved on the front. So you know it's good. The hamstring. Once per battle, activate this to cancel an enemy's blitz action. If they can't stand, they can't fight or chase you. Dragon's gold. Convert target item, not enemy, into three gold. <laughs> Who needs more junk in their lives? Upcycle your unwanted items into gold and hoard that instead. Excerpt from Minimalism for Dragons by Frederick Kanmari. I probably could have uh, done with something like this if I could have used this potion, gained a bunch of gold, and then used that thing that was like greed or whatever. You do more damage when you have more gold. So th there's ways you could start pairing up things like that. Destroy a target non-boss enemy that has been damaged. He who makes the judgment should swing the axe. So why don't we make the judgments? Headsman Klein of the Nuke Vikings. After you attack with this weapon, take one damage. A much more lethal version of the fan club, favored by Vagabonds and Ragamuffins. And Restore 2 Health has three charges. Liquid Health tastes like rainbows and honey. It also costs nothing. I think I'll buy that one, seeing as I, I kind of have done away with some of my healing options. And infinite use, uh, once per battle, that, it seems kind of great. It has infinite charges, I, I, I like the sounds of that. Ooh, but now I officially have too many things. I think I will get rid of one? Well, if I, if I leave them all in there, will it let me go to battle? Remove some first. I, I don't think I stash them away into like a secondary and do any sort of like secondary thing. I think they're just gone. So I was a little hesitant. Do you really want to trash this card? You won't be able to add it back to your deck. Hmm. So maxing out my deck, buying more than was necessary, uh, ended up being a bit of a mistake. I also have the sturdy perk, restore two health whenever you acquire an item from a dungeon that grants block. I didn't even really know that I had that. Onwards, Onwards it is. That first stop, oh no, okay, I don't even know, just bouncing around wherever. Whoa, look at all this. There's like a bunch of crowned enemies, one crossed out. Oh, 
That was my first battle. I'm progressing all along this. The dank forest. This forest is truly the dankest. Yet it doesn't seem to phase the war bears and their brutal barbarians. I feel like barbarians is a thing I've heard a few times. Like I've literally seen a game called barbarians or barbarians. It's one of the two. That one's got a crap load of health. All right, the snot wolf. <laughs> I love it. And it looks just absolutely insane. I, I just I just like the insanity of all the characters. They're all so expressive and weird. Oh, he he is repeatedly an ambush character. So having the hamstring uh, is like immediately going to be worth having. So if I just spend it the once there, he gets rid of his first little ambush attack. But now his second one will be an ambush? No, I was able to like negate it. So he, he, he wasn't able to just continually keep doing that to me the way I thought maybe he would. Oh, this is showing me what the next thing to drop is going to be. So that's, uh, that's interesting. You can kind of see ahead a little bit what that might be. So I'm, I'm going to activate this again. No no ambush for you. I still I, I can't not take a damage on this one, seeing as I still have yet to drop in any sort of health into this. Is five... The number of, of total more things he, he still needs to add in to our, like, rotation here. That's what I'm reading that as. We'll see after we defeat this snot wolf how, how it drops down. Down to four? Yes. So you know what's coming next. You know how many total are coming next. The barbarian. Lame. I really should have better... A lot better of everything before I go against something like that. I might be able to get away with it, like with a bit of a combo like that. And by buying up a bunch of that stuff, it kind of helps me out because it drops a bunch of things down into the into the pool there. And I totally just got my sturdy uh, by uh, acquiring an item that grants block. I totally healed up by doing that. So that, that was uh, that worked out quite well, I would say. I'm going to chuck in my extra block in there, and I'm going to go for a, a big heavy hitting attack. Just because I figure I, I might as well try and defend up. Oh, he got... Sometimes sometimes you can back down enemies. Like, I came at him so tough there that he instead chose to drop a block in front of me. I'm going to keep my block up. I can't penetrate his, and so it's not worth spending my sword on it. Clobber, big old clobber, and uh, just a regular attack will do the trick there. He was going to block and attack on that one. He had a bit of both going on. What luck. It is quite lucky, yes, I would agree. I think I can kind of just go at this right now with uh, ex exactly the items I currently have. I should be able to survive through it. It doesn't have that many more things to add to the dungeon. So it's in my best interest to clear the dungeon with a bunch of excess items and things. I forgot to negate his his thing, but I, it shouldn't matter. Whatever, I'll undo it this time. Now, that's all excess stuff that gets to be turned into gems instead. Oh, even the stuff that was still in my inventory uh, got added in there. Max deck going up again. Ooh. Whenever you gain a one-cost ability gain an extra copy so like something with one dura durability is what I think it means at the start of each dungeon shuffle three random potions into the dungeon deck that would be outside of my regular deck that seems really useful and they're not necessarily all healing at the start of each dungeon shuffle three copies of flex into the dungeon I don't know what flex is actually uh, I was starting to pack rat right at the end there Alchemist seems more crazy. Like, who knows what the hell's gonna happen with that one? So, I, I, I'd kind of rather explore that a little bit. Rehydration flask. Basically, I think it's just a flask of water. Used to restore one health. Whenever you discard a tile, restore one dis durability. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Bizarrely, this flask doesn't contain water. I thought I was on to them. Instead, it converts ambient moisture into rehydration magic. Weird. The crossbow we've seen, the spear, does piercing damage, quite a lot of it. 
pierces armor like butter. It only has two durability. Without looking at it, what are the odds that the Butcher's Cleaver is a Diablo reference? Deals an additional two damage versus damaged enemies. A rather brutal weapon, sure to give your opponent nightmares. Uh, no direct reference there, I would say. Amanita Essence, this is the sort of stuff I'm guessing the alchemy will drop in. Reduces the cost of target ability by one. Distilled from deadly Amanita mushrooms, opens the mind and aids the learning of magical abilities. May also result in communion with all matter in the universe. Whoops. I meant to just X out of it. I guess we have that now. That's something that we're taking with us. It's a part, part of my armory. I'm looking around at like this weird mountain that looks like a head, this cool desert, this goblin hanging out next to like a wood burning stove or something, the weird fish monster with the nose, the gobloid capital, Wagu. Wagu is the capital city of the gobloids and the name of their king and of their signature dish and the most popular gobloid baby name. Wagu is uh really gets around doesn't it there's 15 more cards to add in from its notes the boss the gob lord wagu all gobloids have plus one attack this dungeon shuffle three times tranquilizer into the dungeon deck he sits he stands he crushes damn okay so this is a very hefty deck all of a sudden <clears throat> Seems like I, I kind of am going to have a lot working against me here. Reduce the cost of target ability by one. It costs me nothing. I might as well chuck it into my into my pack. We have a bucket head. When this enemy is defeated, put a copy of stupidity into your inventory. Well, damn it. I, I don't want to have to deal with whatever crap that is. That sounds bad. Sounds no good. I don't want it. I think I, I think I should take this along with me, considering that this guy is going to be chucking his big, big move at me here. I guess I haven't really used abilities yes, yet, because I don't have a target ability. I should have done one battle without the chainmail, because I would heal as soon as I picked up the chainmail. But like, oh, reduce the cost. Amazing, that's kind of really cool actually. So I could do this and make those both free. Well, yeah, I want the ambush thing gone. Uh, I'll grab this after once once this... Oh, it's already down to, to one. I didn't realize. If I get my hands on a second one, I could reduce them both down to one and then pick that up. Tranquilizer in battle. Replace enemy's current action with sleep. That's a new one. Convert target item into three gold. So this is the sort of thing where I could rather than cashing it in for one gold and, and zero health because of my vampirism, I could just straight turn it into into gold. Uh, I obviously can't like use that against a goblin or anything like that. He still does pretty high damage. Oh, that's because their attack is raised during, during this uh, dungeon because of the goblin king or whatever. He's got them all amped up. They're... They're fired up and ready to go. I'm going to buy it, cash in on the health. I, it gives me that extra durability or extra defense, I should say. I I should try and invest in ways to raise my damage. Pack rat. Pack rat would have been great. I kind of forgot I have vampirism and that I can just keep healing with every guy I kill. I can probably be less cautious knowing that I have something like that. In working in my favor. Tackle does four. He's about to do two attacks. So I feel like that would blast like each the first one might use up the durability. No, I was defended for the full turn. I feel like that was kind of important to assess and discover. I would like to defend against this. Well a, a, during a turn where he happens to only be doing very little damage. I get to go first on this one. Oh god. Uh, why was I down? His poke or something must have put me down to one damage. Damn, that was kind of brutal. And now we have stupidity in there somewhere? I'm not very excited about that. Oh, stupidity here! While this debuff is in your inventory, the cost to acquire abilities is increased by one. 
Oh, I have to... I have to spend to, like, remove it. Spend health to remove it. Potion of Transmogrification. Transform target item into a random item and reduce the cost of it by two. Ooh. <laughs> I almost feel like I should... I kind of want that dragon potion. I'm just trying to think of what my best way to get to there would be. Probably just fighting my way through a couple battles. A couple, like, quick, simple battles. Hopefully if I, I get through these okay, then... I can earn, earn up a couple gold. Ah, uh, the, the king. The king is coming up next. So I do just want to fight through this guy. And then I'm going to buy that dragon's gold thing. Oh god, they do so much damage. It's really messing me up big time. Wagoo's here! Wagoo, wagoo! I'm just going to avoid that big time. Dude has more health than I was uh, prepared for. I would like to buy this. Ah. Oh. Can I replace stupidity? It can't be replaced. Crap. Um, how do I, how do I abort that? Yeah, I don't want to do that after all. Instead, no, it still made me choose. I was trying to spend it. I was trying to use it. Well, now I know what my max inventory size is. Shit. Well, this has its raised cost. It would be really nice to have, though. All right, I'm going to use this to sell the essence thing. And now it has turned into a tranquilizer. I kind of think I want the tranquilizer against the king. I kind of want a bunch of different stuff. And I don't know if he's going to have... If he's going to have this. Or like a, a blitz attack or not. Oh. If I were to kill him, it would lower the attack of everyone. If I were just to just go at him. Like right now, right away. Get it over with. I don't really need two tranquilizers. It's a lot of tranquilizers. And having having a big cache of gold seems useful. The flask of rehydration. Did he just chuck this in just because? How why did I suddenly get that in the deck? I feel like he's just being helpful or something. Transform to random one and, and decrease by two. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I kind of feel like I need more health. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. A little concerned. I am going to buy the tranquilizer. I'm going to take this guy. Alright, I'm going to fight like a pretty standard enemy here. Uh, I'm going to put him to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, that's better for me overall, I think. Just try and, like, end this as quick as I can. I'm gonna guard up. That should be a perfect guard. He shouldn't... Because he's breaking it up into those two small ones. They both count as parries. So he's stunned. Which is awesome as well, actually. That worked out really, really well. Having the tranquilizer against this guy is awesome. That worked so well. Select a tile. I have to replace something to make room for this piece of garbage? Damn it. Damn it. Alright. But the hamstring thing doesn't seem to matter as much right now. Because I, I don't think there's any more of those basic goblins left in the deck to specifically have to worry about. I'm going to spend one more of these. I'm picking up the legit sword. The slashing ability thing. Uh, this is still sitting at two charges. I kind of meant to buy this. <laughs> Do you know what? I can get away with this. This is wasteful and it sucks and stupid. But I'm going to do this in order to recharge that. It increases its block value. Because that's specifically what I was trying to do. I'm just too much of a rookie at the game to understand that that's what I was trying to do. Alright. Alright, man. The two, three attack thing. Ah, I can defend against that. I can. And so I'm going to accept it. And he, he's not actively blocking right now. He's going rampage. Parried. And now he's stunned. Do I use like a full strong attack again? I guess I should. I should just try and deal as much damage as I can. 
I don't want this five damage he's going before me. You're getting tranquilized. I feel like I'm really having to commit and push hard against this, but I don't want to die in like the first like proper boss battle. See, here's another one. I can actually parry this one. He'll be stunned again. This game is very quick to, to pick up and learn, actually, and it's actually a lot of fun to piece together the strategy of how I should be layering these together and all that sort of stuff. Hmm. Now, now I'm a little worried, uh, and I'm going to end up... I figured out I'll give it a try. A Claymore, while this is active, you can't activate another weapon. Reduce the cost down to one. It has a lot of damage output. This thing does a lot of damage. Uh, I just thought it would be fun to try something new. And uh, I should be able to just finish him off just like this. And I should be able to do the same thing to this guy. My damn stupidity. I'm not going to get many gems or anything from this dungeon because I, I I used up like everything. There's like no spare items. Even the stupidity counted towards gems though. Cool eagle victory max deck size increased. Got the... I still got some rewards. And Scrappy gained two additional health when discarding a tile. Max health reduced by four. Ooh. Scrappy's a good descriptor for that. Martial Artist. Your base attack is increased by one. Minus one. Well, you have a weapon equipped. Oh, you could go full fists. It's like building a monk in D&D &D or whatever. That's kind of awesome. When you discard an item, 50% chance to restore one durability to a random item in your inventory. Only a 50% chance, hey? That's a bit of a gamble. And while there are seven or more enemies on the board, gain two attack. There's only nine spots. You would have to purposely really rack that up in order to make that happen. I'm gonna go martial artist, I guess, because it sounds fun. I'm gonna be a martial arts vampire? Why wouldn't I do that, right? Once per battle, increase the damage of your next attack by X. Increase X by two each round. Why hold a grudge when you can get even? How does this work? So the, the next, the first time I use it, it adds zero? That sounds so cool. And so overly strong. Octo's arm, at the end of each round in battle, increase this weapon's damage by one. Resets after battle. If I don't use it, will it keep increasing? Will it only increase if it when it gets used with that durability? Octo's got eight of these. Well, seven now. Unless you got a new pegticle or tentapeg. <laughs> it's a good sense of humor kind of floating throughout this game, too. It just comes in bits and pieces here, but I like it. In battle, deal damage equal to your current health times 10? Oh, 10. No, it's, I think it's telling me that's what my current health is. If your health is full, also stun. Rawr, smash! It's really crazy strong. This cactus thing seems out of control. That seems so cool, especially if I'm going to be all punching focused. I was planning to just play through the first boss, but now it, <laughs> that path that I took was stupid. Like, this might take a while to get through this, but I'm, I'm, I want to see how far we can push it now. Pointy Peak. The harpies roost in yonder peaks, but they don't bother the gondola too much, long as I remember to strap a sacrifice to it. The gondola controller Vivian. Jesus. We got goofy little dancy looking skeletons. What's this guy's deal? He's ancient, he's well armored and fashionable. He starts the battle with two armor. So I, it's kind of cool how they get framed in different ways to represent stuff like that. I don't have a crossbow in my deck. That must be the sort of stuff that the dungeon itself just sticks in there. Windrunner. This enemy is flying. You can't equip weapons until after this enemy attacks. Ah, uh, because they have to, like, get in close, I guess, for, for that to be a thing. Wait, deal two piercing damage to a target enemy in the top or middle row. So, like, that's before battle, right? Like, I could blast one of these enemies. I guess I'm going for just, like, a, a regular battle against a regular skeleton. Oh, yeah, I forgot my damage is up to three. Okay, I can totally spank skeletons right now, and every time I kill them, I suck their blood, I guess. Doesn't make a lot of sense for a vampire to gain health back from killing a skeleton, but 
thanks to the the stamps I've collected, my ability to take on skeletons is like flat. It's like nothing. It's like a, almost a free tile for me and free gold. While while we're at it, I want to buy the crossbow because I want to see if I use this here. Yes. All right. So I want to shoot you once, and I want to shoot you a couple times, but like. I don't know. I, I was curious how piercing would work. I guess it would probably go through this guy's armor. He would take that damage regardless. Uh, getting you down to... If this enemy reaches the bottom row, you take two damage. Oh shit, I'm glad I read that. Uh, I'm gonna deal with this, this other damage there, whatever, just get it over with. But if you... It, I could use it against an, an, an ancient skeleton and be fine, I think. Because they would go through that two armor that's sitting there. They have a piercing attack. Any block you have will be ignored. Yikes. Well, luckily I still get to attack first. This this one isn't doesn't count as flying. See, I'm glad I took that extra damage off so I could end that a little more quickly. Uh, this one counts as flying, uh, unlike that other one. I guess I'm just committing to just punching things. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't worry so much about weapons or anything like that and just go around doing my doing my thing, punching all these guys to death. Uh, gain some free gold. And then I can worry about dealing with the more difficult seeming enemies. Too easy, he says. Wow, there's a lot of these. Taking the martial arts thing was the best move I ever made. Because I can just fly through these, just bellow my way through them. And it could just keep dishing me out skeletons. And I'll just keep cashing in. Money, money, money. Is what I got going on here. I'm set. I got a sword coming in. I think I'll buy the helmet and a sword. This isn't the bottom row one. This isn't the one that uh, I have to worry about reaching the bottom row or anything. I'm gonna grab this just in case this battle seems like it is not going well. I can't equip a weapon on this first one anyways. I'll use my, my teeny tiny one little block. <laughs> I guess that item is way more about gaining that initial health. Here, okay, this kind of sucks because I gain one additional by not having a weapon and I lose one by equipping a weapon. So it actually makes the weapon so crazy useless unless I also have something like a slash to tag on there. I gotta be super mindful of the- f I, I basically have to rebuild my deck to like ignore weapons at this point. Weapons are, are suddenly a hindrance. Like I, I, I don't know if I can discard this. I don't think I can. Uh, I would rather just be rid of it though because it's kind of- Cramping my style. I guess I can throw in... I'll throw in a guy. Oh, look at him. Look at him skulking around. The animations in this are quite wonderful, actually. I really dig that. There, his, I, I'm through his armor. But it kind of... You lose that first one a little bit. He's cranking out the hits. Glad to finally be done with him, though. He was kind of just uh, a thorn in my side. I gotta, I gotta finish this off. Yeah, let's chuck up a, a couple blo- Oh, right, you're going to ignore that. Damn you. <laughs> but now, now I can chuck up a couple blocks and it'll be perfect. Get my, my parry in. Ah, uh, it's a very satisfying moment when the, that comes together like that. And now, I was kind of building up to this a little bit. I would like to buy this, recharge all those guys. Ha ha! I'm I'm brilliant. <laughs> and actually, that'll work out really well because I immediately I have to fight the same enemy type again. Presumably, they always do that same ordering of attacks, so I can just keep doing that. Oh right! I totally forgot that that raised the usefulness of both of you. I uh, shouldn't have equipped both like that. That was insane. I'm trying to use like as little of everything as possible. So I'm just kind of picking up the odd thing here and there. 
Uh, I believe I will take those off. Probably pluck the, the helmet back on my head in an effort to keep as much things of mine with durability as possible in case another one of those durability rechargers comes along. I'm not really expecting that it would. He's armored. Yeah, we've already we've already uh, encountered this. This is specifically what the crossbow would have been good for is when one of these guys like drops in like that. I'll just I'll expend all that and Nah, I'm just gonna try and go in as is try to Get away with as much as I can here try try to have like a board full of cards that I can cash in for a benefit. I'm feeling greedy, greedy for gems at the moment. But now, now I, now I have to like take something. Uh, no, I don't really. I can just, I can just get rid of these because weapons are garbage and I don't need them and I don't want them. Give me cool shit. Give me stuff like this cactus. That's what I want. That's what I wanted this entire time was specifically that cactus. So thank you for finally delivering that. Oh, uh, but. Once per battle, increase damage of next attack. Do you have to use it with a weapon? I can't just use it with my... Ah, uh, it just wasn't allowed to be equipped uh, previously, just for that first round or whatever. It, counted, it counts as its own kind of weapon. So it's still useful. I was, I was scared that I was like, oh man, as like a monk punching character. Am I not gonna get the use out of this at all? Ah, oh, they're putting up putting up major defenses here. This battle is uh, wigging me out. I can run. What happens if I run? Ah, oh, I ran, but I died. All good things must come to an end, including your journey. You start each run from the first dungeon, but you'll keep XP that can be used to unlock new tiles. So, I get to gain all that up. Nice! You unlocked a new tile. This will show up in chests and shops during future runs. Flex was that thing that there was a chance for um, Flex to show up in the deck. I just hadn't seen it before. Captain's Cutlass. When you require this, gain one gold from each enemy in the same row or column as this item. Some blades thirst for blood. This one thirsts for gold. And Grog. <laughs> It's a very thirsty cutlass. It's looking for all kinds of things at once. I do want to see what flex is as well. It costs five gold. Use to increase your base attack by one for the remainder of this dungeon. Barbarians spend the majority of their time flexing in front of mirrors and admiring their gains. Oh, so that one thing that would have added like three flexes into the deck would have uh, done quite a lot. You get to see what my deck was that I finished with, the different perks I had acquired, how long, score, uh, the date that I did it on, and uh, if I... Oh, there was a seed! There was even a seed number if you wanted to try and do the same run as someone, which is always cool. Run history. The, the game is like uh, two months almost away from being ready. There will be daily challenges. The encyclopedia is also not in yet. The daily... Uh, obviously, that's not in yet. But yeah, they are, they've been pumping in a lot of content into the game. Uh, they're showing kind of what, they, what they've been working on adding and everything here. This is actually really damn cool. I don't know if I'll personally do like a series on it. I, I imagine, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see actually. But I think this is a damn cool game. I like deck building stuff. Uh, and this has a cool like dungeon crawling aspect that goes along with that but then like kind of this funny presentation with it being the box full of tiles or cards or whatever we want to call them uh i really dig it i think they they got something really cool here and it's funny it's got like asim kingdom of loathing humor in a way and i'm always going to be a fan of that i i really dig it i think this is really cool i would totally recommend this one for people who are, who are into this sort of thing thank you so much for watching I'll see you again soon.